Okay, you guys, so I know you guys know about Muni Long. Now, if you don't know who she is, I guarantee you that you know this song. Yeah. Yours, mine, ours. I could do this for hours. Now, Muni Long has been in the game a very long time. And prior to her becoming Muni Long, you guys, she was Priscilla Renee. Now, you have to go back when you talk about Priscilla Renee. This was 2009, but I know you remember this song. Yes, so if you were old enough back then, 2008, 2009, you remember Priscilla Renee. Now, outside of her being a very talented singer, she is also a very talented songwriter. She has written for some of your favorite artists. Now, this includes K. Michelle. And this is when things get a little messy. Now, K. Michelle had a number one hit called VSOP back in 2013. Now, Muni recently did an interview and this song was brought up to her. Now, she wrote this song for herself, but the song was stolen from her. Take a listen. Even with all of your recent success, we know that it has been a very, very long journey. You had another song that was set to be one of your hit singles that was given to another artist by one of your publishers, and we know that to be K. Michelle's VSOP. Can you just describe what you felt in that moment, having to go through that? It's like, it sucks, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, like, you know, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to do my thing, like, why everybody want to write your own song? Everything that has happened to me has gotten me to this place, and in the future, I just, decided like, well, I'm not gonna play anything for anybody that I don't want um, to be, you know, passed around. The song went number one with her on the R&B chart. So, you know, it's a win for everybody. Now I know you guys heard what she said. She said, write your own songs in regards to K. Michelle. Now K. Michelle's sister saw this interview and she did not like what was said about her sister. And she commented, she said, no more hours and hours for me definitely not a fan of how she handled this my sister killed this song also she's an amazing writer she literally writes the majority of her songs on her albums it's so important to state facts when speaking miss muni and fans said things like we don't care sis the industry been trying muni for the longest she said the song was given away behind her back i'll be mad too and i'm sure k michelle would be mad too if that happened to her they asked her how she felt in that moment and she answered honestly girl do you she didn't say anything wrong I still stand on the fact that only K could have sung that song though. Now I do understand both sides. I understand Muni's frustration. I mean, Muni has been in the game a long time and she's been trying to get her break for a very long time. So for a song that you wrote, they end up being number one to be given to someone else when I'm sure she felt like that was her big break song. Yes, I can understand being frustrated and angry, but at the same time, K. Michelle herself did not steal that song from her. Someone went behind her back and gave it to K. Michelle. So at the end of the day, it's really not K. Michelle's fault. And of course, that's K. Michelle's sister. I mean, you're gonna stick up for your family at the end of the day. But like I said, I understand both sides. But it looks like it's all working out for her because her song, Hours and Hours, reached number one on the R&B Billboard chart. So she's definitely getting her flowers and I'm really happy for her it's been a long time coming she deserves it but i want to know what you guys feel about all of this who do you feel is in the wrong if anybody you guys leave your comments below do not forget to subscribe and i will talk to you guys later